What? Oh my god, their military power. Wait, you jerk. Why are you in that faction? That does bring his opinion of me up. 180 gold that I need to send to these jerks. I, I'm not sure. I mean, I will ask for help. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Is At this point, is, is what is going on. I will ask for help for my dynasty members. Yeah. They're there. They're at maximum. They can make the ultimatum. I actually don't know what happens when they do. I can unlock a new perk, and that is going to be defensive measures. Yes, please. Uh, that does increase my levy size? Nah, not really. Should I... You're working on control. Let's uh, organize levies. Wait, that doesn't increase level size. That just makes the levies organize a little bit faster, and they're pretty organized. I could, and probably should, upgrade some of my regiments. Because they cost a little bit. Hmm. And by some, I mean all of them. I don't know if this is a good idea. I'm getting ready for war. Room as an intruder. Every time I close my eyes, I see Queen Gormlaith's face. Sleep will not come. I cannot wait for the moment. Cloaked in shadows, I make my way to the garden outside her living quarter. The sight of Gormlaith's chamber window makes my heart stutter. So close, and yet so far. But wait, who is that climbing up her tower? Hmm, that is, uh... She loses an a... An a... Yeah, I must save her. Let's go with that. I think this is good. The sounds from the struggle above is the greatest motivator I have ever known. Without care for my life or limb, I hoist myself through Queen Gormlaith's window. I feel as if I have plunged into a frozen lake. Gormlaith is on the floor, the intruder pushing her down, a gleaming blade between them. With a roar, I grab the villain by the collar and throw him into the wall. The rest is a blur. When the danger is over, I turn toward her. What are you doing here? She asks, her voice trembling. And she did lose. Um, that didn't that didn't work out. Do not come any closer. Leave at once, or I will hurt you. This is uh, greatly upsetting. This is greatly upsetting, and I. Let's try and, and, and well, we're not gonna we're we're gonna have to seduce somebody else or something because I'm not getting a kid from her. She she still loves me. I mean, as in, she's my lover. But it's it's not going well. <laughs> Liberty the man. My liege, it is time for you to recognize the ancient and in inalienable rights. What do you need? You get autonomous vassals. Then I spent crowns. I, have, I guess I have no choice. The falling faction has been disbanded. Yeah. I guess I have no choice. And that means... God knows what it means, but... It means we're gonna have to contend with... With that, because... I... Wait a minute. That means I can imprison this jerk? No, who is it? The guy that plowed my wife. I know who you are. Oh, I will win. I will... Mm-hmm. Okay, well, Autonomous Vassals is an issue, but I think you can change that. Uh, I'm actually not sure. I'm not 100% sure I know how to mess with that. Would that be over here? I don't actually know. But, yeah, that war was just way too tough. And we have captured somebody. Who is that? Just some jerk. Send send me the money. Your uncle, Duke Vela, created the cadet branch, Luigi Eldian Burgus. And that is all right. Thank you very much, uncle. And victory is ours. Our other war is actually going relatively well. They have enormous armies up there, which makes sense. I really need my chancellor to be better at this. Because it's definitely not better. An acquaintance died in my dungeons. Tough luck. 
Burgos is now under siege. And Sevilla is now under siege. Wait a minute, where the hell... Where's Burgos? Oh, up here, right? Because of the other war. It's fine. Once Sevilla is ours, everything else is okay. Can imprison you. And I can imprison the mayor. For what? She's a fornicator. Alcantara. Sure. Um, let's imprison her. Justice. And now let's ransom. That is indeed justice. 30 gold. Very good justice. And that war is won. Courtier has been released. That's nice. These guys are coming back up. Victory is ours. I didn't actually gain any fame as far as I can tell. But that's alright. We have... Can declare wars, but that's alright as well. The Countess... Expects a position. Protecting against schemes. What do you mean protecting against schemes? It's fine. Let it be. Oh, those guys are going away. Yeah, that's alright. Let them be down there. Because they're going to conquer Sevilla again. That's actually a fairly big... You know what? It's a good opportunity for me to go down there and get the biggest army. Right there. Can I do that like like so? Will the siege stop? The siege will not stop. Neighboring ruler joined the war. That is not our war though, so that should be okay. That should be okay. And uh, we have white piece being requested a 12% law. I wish I could request all of any of this stuff. I'm not actually sure if I can or not. So these guys are buggering off, which is good. I think I have two armies over here. Maybe not. Do I... How many troops do I have? They're just going away. Will I be able to fight them? I will be able to fight them. In my own lands, but only... No, all of them. Yep. That's pretty good. Our knight uh, is being injured, and down they go. They actually completely disappeared. So... Allied combatants slain. We don't worry about that because we marry people when we can. Victory is ours. And I suppose... Oh, a ransom for a sheik. Go for it. And that's the money. Thank you very much. It doesn't affect war score. And we are about to take Placencia. Finally. <laughs> We've been at this for a while. And once that's taken, of course, that's the quest objective, or the war objective. I think I might, since it's just this up here. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Because it's just these. As long as I control the capital, they won't be able to do much. Right? Right. Okay, 34 gold from that. We control Placencia. We control... Uh, the war, this man, the army, immediately. Because what we're doing is we're declaring war. We're actually going to wait a little bit. Let's see. So, yeah, we're going to wait a little bit. Let's uh, get you to organize the levies. And then we're going to attack somebody. Let's see. We have titles can be created, but we don't worry about that. Disabled buildings in Ervash. Uh, that is all because of my holdings being bad. Just, uh... Just... Unfortunately, I don't have kids... That's a big that's a big problem. <laughs> that's a big problem. I just need to get rid of all these holdings and I can't. To my liege, I hereby invite you to a feast at my court. Uh am I do I like feasts? I mean, yeah, it'll be my pleasure. Who are you? You don't like me. So hopefully she won't try to kill me, although she very well might. Let's find out. It'll be a grand affair. A warm welcome. Every guest is gathered in the great hall, and our gracious host, Countess Christina, has welcomed us to the feast. This better be worth my time. Yes, it uh, indeed it, uh, it indeed. I'm missing words. There, but yes. Okay. What did I promise last night? I cannot remember. What led up to it, but I do remember slapping the back of my vassal, Countess Cristina, telling her that I would do anything she asked me. Your rumors abound of the oath that I swore. Uh, so, every other attendee that respects Cristina will lose 15 opinion of me instead of me get getting a weak hook. No, screw you. <laughs> screw you. I don't care about your opinion. Uh, that was, I just want to get drunk and or maybe do other things that are qu things. We have a proposal for an alliance. Who are you? You're... Yes. That is indeed the correct thing to do. An alliance with me. Just you over there, though. That's good. That's good. 
right, I need a lot of allies for things that are to come. Okay, speaking of things that are to come, you are about to be imprisoned. Because, and you really will, will hate it, uh, because you have uh, done unspeakable things to my wife. The dilemma. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. The feast is dwindling down, and I find myself deep in conversation with my brash vassal, Countess Christina. She inquires about my opinion on parties, a subject she's deeply interested in herself. And it's a subject that fascinate, fascinates me as well. I lose stress. And a question of loyalty, loyalty, my queen. Oh, no, not this again. I mean, maybe this again? Yeah, I'm surely the father, for sure. Uh, and also, I'm about to go to war precisely with the father. Did I actually... Yeah, I did. I'm still waiting until for your uh, imprisonment declaration. Justice! Oh my God, I actually pulled it off. As per my, my orders, Duke Stevon is now to be confirmed to his home or confined to his home. I've posted some of my guards to ensure he's compliant in uh, the house arrest, and that is very good. He really hates me now, but what this allows me to do is to do many things, like send him to the dungeons. I will gain stress because I'm compassionate. I really, I'm a doofus, is what I am. Uh, but that's good. That's good. Okay. So what I want to do here. I still want to... Rem um, I do not have limited crown authority or better. Yeah, I know. I know. I can grant a pardon to him. Suero over here. How would you like... If I killed your liege? How would you appreciate that? Hmm? I could ransom him, but that's kind of pointless. I'm going to move him to the dungeons. And then from there, obviously I won't be able to do much else because my, my stress is already an issue. But that might make him die is what I'm thinking is gonna happen and also I lost the spy master yeah which is very important hey do you want to be my spy master oh no wait you're you're the countess uh, she's my vassal yeah that's that's actually pretty decent I can ransom Duke Stevon no, he still plays very little so screw him I'm gonna yeah just keep him in the dungeons because that way he can't do bad things and your acquaintance Jibril has died in my dungeons yep yeah, that's fine so I still haven't disinherited him, but maybe that's not an issue. We'll see. We'll see. Virtuous Bishop has increased my... Mm, is that our bishop? No, unfortunately. <laughs> I was going to say it's increased my crowns, my crosses. That is incorrect. Uh, okay, so you're going to need to take care of control because things are just out of it. They're absolutely out of control. And I don't need to raise my armies, as it turns out. Feast, returning home. And that lowers... Oh, I've gained a friend as well. Did I? Is she now my friend? She is now my friend. Great. What a feast. I will remember the day spent with Countess Christina's halls for a long time to come. Now it is time to wash off the traces of merriment and wine and once more resume my duties as Lord of the Realm. And uh, I'm trying to sway Duke Esteban. Am I actually trying to sway you? Because that is a dumb thing. No, no, I would confuse you two. Duke Estevão and Esteban is a different thing. It has come to my attention that some locals and commoners are moving to Coimbra, and so if I give them money, good things happen. But I don't want to give them money because uh, good things can happen on their own. And we're going to wait a little bit. So we're at 11 out of 8 holdings. That is such an issue. Let's hope that, bump, that my wife has a baby boy and that she doesn't say anything about the father because we know exactly what's going on with that. And, in fact, I have the father in the prisons. That might also prevent... Some of the fornication that's going on. Maybe. Okay, so... Let's just save the money for right now. Uh, let's see if I can declare wars. I think that might be a good idea to do that right now. Uh, Marshal... Well, things are... Things are actually... Well, we definitely can declare wars. But... About what? Holy war. Another holy war. And a de, de jour... Oh, that is that is kind of good. Unfortunately, it's only that one. And also... Because I don't have enough crowns for that. I need to win a few more. Eh, that, that could be a thing. We're, we're going to do that. For sure. Although Holy Wars... Might not need many of them. Oh, that would be an, in an interesting thing as well up there. And this would just give me... 
Oh, yeah, that is going to be a good one. Let's do that. Let's do that. Valladolid. I don't think we've ever fought for it. I don't know if they... I don't think so. Uh, before, when we weren't the king. You will make another attempt, because Duke Esteban was not swayed successfully. Well, um, let's let's think about maybe getting a bastard and, and uh, dealing with that. How about... I look. Let's look at our court over here. Court. And adult. And female. And then sort by age. And that way, we can see the age over here, but more importantly, we can see this sort of stuff over here. Queen Gormlaith is pregnant. Lover's box, that is not the correct thing. Uh, quick! Oh, that's interesting. I wanted somebody who were, who would be beautiful, potentially, for good diplomacy. We got pretty, twin, and drunkard. Uh, drunkard is not congenital. Renowned phys... Oh, wait. I'm, I'm going too deep into the age thing. We got a robust. Robust could be a good thing. Who is she? She is deceitful, content, and chaste. Chaste is going to be a problem, though. Uh, and also has claims. She has claims. To the kingdom of Portugal? Why? She's of the house, Guimarães. She's the daughter of my knight. And my un uh, aunt. Yeah. I remember her. Joana Wimaranes. Huh. So she's of my family. So uh, that's probably why she is robust. And probably from that giant that came from the north once. We got an adulterer here for our queen. But unfortunately I can't seduce her any more than I already have. So we could go for... Oh, but these are all my... I'm also looking at the wrong thing. I'm looking at the... Um, yeah, we're going to need to not look at the court. Let's look at vassals here instead. Because it's just... Yeah, I need to I need to look. I need to be very careful. A fornicator over here. Mayor Tarifa. Oh, yeah, right. The one that went to prison. No, don't do that. Let's uh, look at top realm instead then. Because that basically gives us access to a bunch of things. Uh, we got a giant over here. And from House Beton Betote Betotes? Could be. Hmm. Huh. She's 16 though, so Yeah, I think it works already. Okay, so let's let's go with uh with that. Let's click on over here and do that. And uh, I'm gonna become an adulterer of my own. Mostly because I, I really need a I really need a kid. And I can't just rely speak oh, it's my son in air right now. Okay, maybe I'm not gonna become a Make it become a, an adult for her. Wimarano, you're definitely not being called that. You're being called Enrique. There we go. And th th that's good. Uh, are you good, actually? Let me try to educate you. Uh, no, me. Can I not educate? Are you good? No, no, you actually... You educating him would be a good thing. Because she's amazing at um, that stuff. So, uh, absolutely educate him. Enrique, may you grow to be... Yeah, that's definitely my kid. Don't ask too many questions. Seriously, stop asking questions. That is a bad idea. And uh, we are going to abandon that and... Whew, okay, so we have a new thing over here, still waiting for the war. We can ransom the real parent, father, whatever. Okay, now we have a, uh, an heir. We can grant titles. Oh, my god. The barony of Guimarães. Actually, wait. Uh, Hervash. So what I want to look at is I want to basically have this on this side, but I can't. You really can't move this? Of the holdings and whatnot? Aww. Maybe it's, uh, it shows over here. I don't know. I know more or less what I want to give. It's Guimarães because... Well, actually, Guimarães. So it's Hervás, Guimarães, Oviedo, and Pravia. No, it's only three. Hervás, Guimarães, and Seville. Let's go with that. Grand titles. Can't do anything else. Really? Oh, Hervás. It says over there, zero taxes. Oh, that's good. Okay. Uh... Santiago, definitely don't give Santiago. So this is Placencia, which is over here. And if I give Sevilla, and then I give Mora. Mora I want to keep, and also Sevilla I want to keep. But Catalayud, that's over there. What's the other one? Abarathin. 
or however it's pronounced. It gives us a lot of money. So grant those titles. And now I'm okay. Oh, and now also I have a hook, so I will be able to extract a few more things out of that. And that's good enough. Uh, and I can negotiate an alliance with a newborn baby. And I will indeed do that. And then we could imprison the... No, I can't imprison her. <laughs> I'm not... No, don't do that. Uh, truce is ending soon. Yeah, but that's not the issue because I need crowns. And also... No, well, it might be an issue. I, I don't know. Let's see how fast we gain crowns. The alliance has been formed. And uh, what I am... I'm still concerned with... I I'll probably have to look it up and see what the hell the independent vassals are supposed to be. Maybe I'm just like... Maybe I hovered over it already because... It could be the autonomous... Yeah. It's basically... Yeah, so that's what it was. We had limited crown authority, and now we passed for that thing. That's what it is. And I just didn't realize that. Okay. Well, we're good with that. That's not... It's not terrible. It is... It is... It is bad, but... I mean, it's better than losing the country. Because that's what would have happened. So, the Kingdom of Navarra over here. I... Really, my young brother. We must come to terms with your death. Then... Of course, we have an alliance. But what if your wife were to suddenly die? Unfortunately, that doesn't work quite well. Hmm. Hmm. Hopefully, she's chaste. She is callous and cynical and fickle, so she might very well kill you, for all I know. But, hmm. Hmm. Okay, Teresa. I am not doing the thing that I was going to do anymore. So, thank you very much. I, uh... Hope you have a bright future ahead of you. As for you, do you like me now more? No, you don't. I should torture you a lot. Because... Uh, actually, well, the problem with the... With the, with the, I will gain a little bit of stress. I might discover a secret, though. And he gains recently tortured. But the problem is all his close family members and his spouse are going to lose a bunch of opinion to me. Uh, of me. Hmm. Let's wait until our stress goes down, because I, I really need to be careful about that. Oh, we have a lot of... Oh, man, I can't wait until I go to war. I can't wait. Oh, yeah, we're about to, actually. That's going to give us a little bit more prestige. Hopefully. A schemer at court. Trying to kill my knight, Ragdish, who is enormous. Look at him. Look at how big that is. He's a giant, actually. So, um, yes, uh, we, we, must, we must stop the villain. Why? Of course. Actually, uh, I also must, must educate his child. No, he already has a child. Hmm. Interesting. He's of my dynasty, then. And... Powerful vassal accepts expect positions, but she's fine. She doesn't, she doesn't need that. Greetings, my... Modest liege, I have discovered that Countess Benita's inherited contract obliges her to more than she has collected. Really? Hmm. Oh, well, thank you very much for saying that to me, then. Time to write this thing. Increase her feudal taxes. Uh, that's fair enough, I suppose. Yeah, she's going to hate that. I am not. Look at all the money that I'm making. And finally, I can declare war against whoever, really, at this point. Actually, it's not whoever. It is specifically... So, Soria. They have a, a fair, a fair group of people to fight. I can ask my vassals to join in. That's, I believe, what uh, showed up over there. We're, we're, we're going to be fine with that. Let's pick our red flag down here, which is the coolest looking. Let's put them right there. Why not? And let's attack immediately because, oh, they're, they're separated. That is all right. Let's see how this works. They have a small group of people over here. So let's go to where they're coming from. That is another one. Let's go. Uh, we're going to fight them somewhere in here, but let's just keep going. Let's wait until this is raised. Enemy ally joins war. I've exposed that Raquel murdered Ragdis. Really? Did you do that? Were you the... Weren't you the one... Seriously? You did that. Hmm, when was that? It was just now. Did you really mur murder Ragdis? He was my... He was my giant... You freaking... Why'd you do that? What are, what are you doing? I must imprison you then. She's just my courtier. In prison. Oh, but... Oh, I need to like... I 
I don't know, actually. If I expose that... And she is murdered... Oh, but it's not a crime. Or something. I think it's because of many reasons. Let's not imprison her, then. Okay. Well, I'll let her be. I just lost... Uh, it's fine. Uh, enemy... Now, they're joining the war, but don't worry. It's more or less expected. And uh, everybody's moving, I think. I believe... No, you're not moving. So, uh, that is a good opportunity for you to actually dedicate yourself to that. And then you need to go over there. Oh, yeah, that's that's relatively good. Uh, no, he's running away. Okay, so... You need... There's nothing here. Okay, you need this... That land to be conquered. So let's go ahead and do that. They're coming around, which is to be expected. I'm not 100% sure what they're trying to do, but they are trying to do it. Let's go. What are they trying to do? Oh, they're coming. Okay, that's fine. So what are they doing down there? They're running that way. Okay, yeah, we're going to fight them. No, we're not. Uh, yeah, we're gonna worry about oh they're repositioning hmm that's that's a curious maneuvering decision I don't know what they're trying to do but I will I will kill them and look at them trying to come for me they are trying to unite aren't they oh uh, yeah possibly because of course they are their county is all separated in, oh it was that the one that came from Lyon potentially Okay, so that one are, that war is going to be one dangerous faction. <sighs> you're in prison, and your baby is. Oh my god, I. It's the countess. What are you doing? I'm gonna lose. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. Um, am I still losing? Realm will lose land when air dies. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's it's fine. One one crisis at a time. We we can. We can wait. Uh, oh, I'm actually besieging things over here. I am. Oh, look at me. Oh, yeah. Sure. Keep at it. It's fine. We have a victory. We're losing a little bit of money, but we can wait until we stop losing money. Enemy left the war because he died. And that is fine enough. I don't mind that. Uh, and these guys are going off into that place, so that, that's not a problem. And uh, I think as far as my brother goes, if I kill all of his babies... He might just have to give his stuff to me. Of course, he himself was probably going to need to die, but either way, uh, we're... Somebody is at war over there. Ibushko is under siege. Uh, that is a problem, isn't it? Uh, well... Uh, oh, look at that. I'm not besieging. Oh, no, I'm... Wait, why am I not besieging? I, it definitely showed me besieging things. My friend Christina died. Hmm. Well, that is... How did... Yeah, I lost, the, I lost the land. Right? Yeah, I lost the land. It's the Principality of Bonavento. So, it's just this guy. Okay. Well, it's fine. My stress is going to kill me, though. 